All right, now we want to turn to the upcoming election. Former President Barack Obama spent yesterday on the campaign trail in the swing state, the battleground state of Pennsylvania. And he delivered a blunt message to black men about why he believes they should be supporting Vice President Kamala Harris over Donald Trump. And on the other side, you have someone who has consistently shown disregard, not just for the communities, but for you as a person. And you're thinking about sitting out, and you're coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses. I've got a problem with that. CBS News campaign reporter Torian Small is following both the Harris and Trump campaigns. You see him there in our D.C. bureau. We heard that Obama pause as he speaks. What's the significance of what we've just witnessed? Does, does the former president still have the same influence with the voters? And I'm wondering why he's being critical of black men when in the previous elections, both black men and women voted for the Democratic candidate overwhelmingly. Well, Errol, the former president recognizes that black voters broadly are a crucial part to the Democratic Party's base. And he's probably looking at polling that showed that Donald Trump is making inroads with black men, even though black women, though, still feel uh, largely more supportive of Kamala Harris. Look, the goal behind bringing Obama out is to galvanize, again, this crucial part of the Democratic Party base that could ultimately help Harris cross the finish line come November. Now, at a town hall event last night, J.D. Vance spoke about Hurricane Milton and the federal response. How are you watching the Trump campaign, including Vance, I don't know, alter um, their rhetoric about the hurricane since earlier this week? Yeah, they're shifting away, at least J.D. Vance, for J.D. Vance's part, they're shifting away from the idea that the administration is diverting funds from disaster relief to migrant uh, policies, though he's focusing on just the response now. He said at this uh, Greensboro Town Hall last night that the response time from the military to these affected areas were, in his mind, uh, inexcusable. He thinks that there could have been a quicker response time. In fact, he actually invoked uh, how the U.S. government responded into the Haiti disaster that happened a while ago, saying that, you know, this is an example of leadership failing North Carolinians. And what is the difference between the ways in which both campaigns are trying to win over Latino voters? That's another crucial block. Yeah, both campaigns have made a West Coast swing, looking in some of these Sunbelt areas where the Latino population is significant. J.D. Vance in Arizona held several events talking directly to Latino voters, saying that the Trump administration is, or the Trump campaign rather, is making inroads with this crucial voting block because he believes that they're speaking directly to uh, legal migrant uh, immigrants in the country who also, in their minds, are not happy with the rush. Uh, illegal border crossings uh, under the Biden-Harris administration. All right, Torian Small, we appreciate the update. Thanks for joining us.